Okay, this video is about self-defense and self-preservation. Uh, if I'm walking down the street and I get attacked, okay? Uh, there's some variables involved with that situation. So, uh, variables like if it's night out, I can't see very well. Uh, if it's icy, I may slip. If there's obstacle, obstacles on the ground that I might trip over, okay? All those things need to be taken into account. And what I want to talk about in this video real quick is another variable. I'm sick right now. I don't know if you can hear it my voice. I got a really b bad head cold. Symptoms, I got a headache, I got uh, all the standard symptoms in my head. Uh, I feel weak, weakness, just not feeling really good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is do a, or replicate a self-defense situation uh, with that variable in mind, okay? So I'm gonna have somebody try to keep me on these mats right here, and I'm gonna try to get off the mat. Uh, as bad as I feel, I'm just gonna try to ignore it and try to get off the mat, and we're gonna talk about uh, what's the important aspects of being prepared for self-defense? And I like to use the words self-preservation because it's about survival to an extent. All right, here we go. All right, round two. Okay, so I got out, uh, you could add more variables, I was actually going to add another multiple attacker. Uh, a couple things that kind of, uh, to keep in mind as I try to catch my breath, you want to make sure that you're, uh, you're technical, so the three aspects I want to outline in terms of how I escape, or at least the mindset going into it, is you've got to be technical. So you have to have some kind of technique some kind of understanding of body positioning. So if you notice there was a little wrestling there, there was a little bit of Muay Thai, a little bit of stand and base from Jiu Jitsu. So definitely a mixed martial arts approach to getting away from someone who's attacking me. So the technical aspect is very important. Another one is the mindset. It's kind of silly, but I always say, tell my students that Rambo was right. You know, your mind is the most powerful weapon. If he attacked me, and I just uh, allowed how I felt physically to affect my ability to defend myself. My mind's not kicking in, there's no engine. You know, my car just stalls. So, I have to be in the right mindset. If I get attacked, wherever I am, I have to just quickly defend myself. So I gotta utilize that technique and quickly defend myself. The other thing, I mean, you know, talking about for years as an MMA coach, some of the things that, you know, a guy like Kane Velasquez is very good at, is uh, keeping his composure. So I always say like, stay relaxed. It's the last thing we, we tell the, the fighter before they go out and fight. But even in a self-defense situation, you have to keep your composure. You're definitely gonna use a lot of energy. Your, your adrenaline's pumping. So to an extent, like I am sick, well my adrenaline's pumping, especially if I got attacked for real. But even then, I have to control my energies. I have to control my mind. And when you keep your composure, you're doing things precise. You're not freaking out. You're not throwing crazy blows. You're keeping things in perspective. You're, you're keeping your composure. What if you had a friend that was behind him? Those are the things that I would, might over, overlook if I'm not composed. In a sense, even though if there's punching and scratching and all that stuff, I still gotta relax. And if I maintain that mindset, I can escape. And I can, as they say, live to fight another day. Thank you.